In this video, we will learn how to forward SMS to email automatically. So where exactly this automation is useful? Imagine that you are receiving lots of important SMS and customers query on a specific phone number provided by Twilio. Now, whenever a new SMS is received, you want to send the same SMS to Gmail so that the person who are handling the queries do not have to check the phone for every incoming SMS query. They can actually access the queries via Gmail only. To do this automation, I just need to connect Twilio and Gmail with the help of an automation software and anyone can set these kinds of automation for their business. Just follow my video till end. So I'm going to connect SMS application Twilio and Gmail with Pabli Connect, which is an amazing integration and automation software. You can also reach to this website by typing pabli.com slash connect. Now create your account for free from here and you will also get free task to test this automation. I am already an existing user. That is why without asking the login, it is taking me to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Okay, uh, do not forget to click on access now Pabli connect now you can see i have reached to the dashboard click on this button create workflow let me minimize let me maximize it a little bit okay click on create workflow and give any random name to your workflow i have provided the name as auto forward the incoming sms to specific email okay click on create and you will find two boxes in front of you trigger and action and our automation is going to work on these two principles only trigger means when this happens action means do this when this happens do this understand with an example whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application send an email via gmail application according to our use case whenever the sms is received in twilio application send an email to gmail application that is why here in my trigger app, I'm going to choose Twilio as a trigger application, okay? And in trigger event, I want that whenever a new SMS is received, the system should trigger. That is why I have selected new SMS. Now you can see a webhook URL and some set of instructions. So basically, with the help of this webhook URL, we are going to connect Twilio and Pabli Connect. Instruction for the same already given. Let me read it. Log in to Twilio account and go to consoles number page. Well, I'm already logged into the uh, Twilio account. Let me click on this link directly. Consoles number page. Okay. Let me read the uh, second instruction. Click on the phone number we want to use for webhook. Okay, so this is the console's numbers page. Okay, let me check it. And you can see this is the phone number provided by Twilio. I'm going to select this. And let me read the third one. Find the messaging section and the message comes in option. Okay, under the messaging section, I will find this particular option. Let me find it. Okay, so where exactly it is? It is actually configured with a calls come in. No, we want a message comes in. A message comes in. Okay, here exactly it is. A message comes in. Webhook is already selected. Let me delete the existing one and let me copy and paste the, this particular one. Okay, and this is how I can actually build the connection in between Twilio and Pabli Connect. You can see number was successfully updated. Now what it is asking, read it. Log into the application where you have added the webhook URL and do a test submission record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So basically it is asking you to send a test message, test SMS to this particular number so that the same data can be recorded here in the uh, Pabli Connect as a webhook response and further we can actually uh, create our automation. So I'm going to send a specific SMS to this particular uh, number, okay? Let me show you what SMS I'm going to send it, okay? So, all right, let me show you. This is the SMS I'm going to send it. Hello, Pabli team. I'm facing an issue with one of my workflow. It is giving me an error. I'm trying to call your team multiple times, but unable to reach out. Automation has suddenly stopped working. Please help me. You can call me on this number. Assume that a customer is facing an issue in the product and he is sharing his query on SMS by sending the SMS on this particular phone number. Let me send this SMS. Okay. 
Now you can see as soon as the SMS is received on this particular phone number, the same response, the same SMS details has been captured in Pabli Connect as Webhook response. Let me show you the details. Let me first show you the content, the body of the SMS. Here is the body. Let me show you and you can see this is the same content which I have just shown you that I am about to send. Okay, that means the first step of our integration is actually working. It is successful. You can see other details are also here. The country is here. All right, here is the city. No, there is no city from country to number. Every detail is here. Now, my next step is to send the same SMS to Gmail. That is why here I will click on this plus icon and in action application, I'm going to choose Gmail. Okay. I have selected Gmail and an action event I will be selecting as send email because of course I want to send the email. Click on connect, click on add new connection, connect with Gmail, connect the Gmail account via which you would like to send the email. So this is the account. All right. Provide the access. All right. So I have provided the access you can see the authorization is successful. Sorry, successful and Gmail is connected. The very first thing it is asking is the recipient email address to whom you would like to forward these SMS. So basically, I want to forward all the incoming SMS to specific email address. Okay, so that is why I am going to write it manually. Admin at the rate pablitudes.com is the email address on which I would like to forward all the incoming SMS. Leave it blank, leave it blank. Sender name, I don't have the sender name. Again, leave it blank. Email subject. So what subject line I would like to keep. So let me show you. I want to keep this particular subject line. New SMS or query of customer is arrived on your phone. Okay. Or let's say, let me change this to received, received on your phone. So let me copy this particular subject line. And I want that my team should get notified that new SMS or query of customer is received on your phone. Okay. Now moving further, reply to keep it blank. Email content will be same. Email content. Sorry, email content type will be same now finally the email content what exactly i would like to send so i want to send which particular data of course the content which i am receiving this is the body hello pabli team i am facing an issue it is the same sms which i have received in the above data let me show you this is the same content i don't need to copy this text and paste it here uh, this is actually the mapping which i have done i have mapped it from the drop down and whatever the data i'm going to map will be changed automatically let's say a new sms arrived here it will be replaced automatically and a new SMS will be sent in place of this okay and along with this content I would also like to write something so let me give a space a little bit and I have already prepared the content let me show you I want to write something like hi ABC assume that the name of the member is ABC okay hi ABC new query is received on office phone number Please reply to the user and do the needful. Okay, so this is the data. Okay, this is the content I would like to send to the team. Okay, let me do the formatting. All right. Also, this is the customer. Sorry, not the customer. This is the sender number. Okay, let me add the colon and let me share the number also. Okay, from where I will get the send number again, open the response. Okay, and from here I'm going to type from. Okay, you can see this is the number of the user. Hi ABC, new query is received on office phone number. Please reply to the user and do the needful. The sender number is this and the sender content. Okay, the customer's content, customer's query basically. Okay. So customer's query is here and this is what I would like to forward to my team on their Gmail. Now I'm going to click on this button save and send test request and we'll see whether this particular SMS is being forwarded to Gmail or not. Okay, so you can see the response is received. 
let me check my gmail account as well okay let me refresh it and you can see new sms query of customer is received on your phone let me open it hi busy new query is received on office phone number please reply to the user and do the needful the sender number is this customer query is this and this is how you can actually automatically forward all the incoming sms which are actually coming to a specific phone number with the help of pably connect okay and i am going to attach the link of the same workflow which i have just created in the description box so that in case you want to clone the whole setup into your account for free you can actually do it via this link okay also a lot of people ask me even after watching the whole tutorial that do they really need to do any particular setting again and again no let me tell you once you have created automation inside pably connect you can simply close pably connect and everything will be done in backend pably connect will do its job in backend not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pably connect you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pably connect and for the latest updates of pably connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate made their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video